one fat topic that's just like really new and current. Um, it's kind of TikTok-y related. So if you don't know these people, I'm so sorry. Um, <clears throat> Leo Skeppy, did you see this? No. Love Leo. Anyone who comes on my podcast, I will like stand forever. Like I truly do. So I just think he had a pretty bad take on this oh, one. God, I'm nervous. Yeah. Especially because he is he is a former fat person. He has issues with his body. So feel for it. But it's kind of him and F- versus like Fanita. So Fanita, who I love too, who was also big at one point. And then I was like, she's like really skinny now. She, I think she, yeah, she talks about it. She got the sleeve. Lost a bunch of weight, but she used to be, even up until like last year, she was like, I think 300 pounds, I think she said on the podcast we did. Maybe bigger, I don't know. Um, and so basically she released a TikTok. So there's a Brandy Melville documentary coming out. Have you heard about this? No. It's supposed to come out this week. So that's a big thing right now. We talked about it on Cancel, like everywhere. I've just been seeing people talk about it. So it's kind of like, I don't know really what it's about, but Brandy Melville, of course, known for having one size. Yeah. Literally, I asked, I think I asked Brooke, I loved her top. So I was just like, where do you shop? And she had Aritzia and she had the top was Brandy Melville. Brooke is the tiniest person in the whole world, like the tiniest and like the best way. Like, a, I wish I looked like that, but it's a one size fits all top. And I'm like, if you're the tiniest person and it's fitting you fitted, like that's wild to me. Anyways, and I think, I think Tana was wearing Brandy that day too. So it's a one size fits all thing. It's always been controversial. I think I made a Brandy Melville video back in like 13, um, 2013. And I, like true story, like literally like they wouldn't let me try stuff on. That was like a hundred percent true story. And I think back then people thought it, it went viral. It was like this whole thing. Um, it was crazy. So they're doing a documentary on it. Uh, so Fanita's wasn't really about Brandy Melville. She just kind of said like, it was like within like the last 24 hours or something she posted and she's like, you know, it really sucks when these companies make plus size clothes that look like, you know, a zebra print or a leopard blouse Everything or something. Everything printed, Yeah, yes. floral print, yes. like ugly butterfly sleeves, like just like not in the same style that they do standard sizes. So at the end, she kind of gave a shout out to like Fashion Nova. Shout out again, whatever they don't sponsor, but shout out. She's like, when I was 3X, like at least they made it, whatever the standard was, it was the same in, in Fashion Nova. So does Skims. That's why I like Skims. Like whatever you can get in an extra small, it's the exact same style for um 3X, 4X, whatever. So she was just kind of saying that. She goes, and all the people talking against fast fashion it's easy for you to say because you can just walk into a store and get an outfit which i kind of was me i had a stain on my dress going to canceled and i was like i really can't walk in anywhere anymore and just get an outfit because like nothing fits i always have to whatever so um so she was just saying that and she's kind of complaining about these brands just overall like these brands that just don't cater to it and then then them complaining being like well plus size doesn't sell and it's like well it doesn't sell because you're doing ill-fitted prints ugly Ugly. (laughs) basically yeah so then leo does a tiktok and not really in response but like kind of because it was around it literally was all like in the past 48 hours where he's like you know it's not the clothes that are ugly it's your body that's ugly in the clothes yeah he's like it you're just fat and it's not cute and like all this stuff like that so basically He's like, you don't get the right to like complain about brands because they want to cater to a specific look or specific body. So he's kind of like defending corporate, the corporate side, the business side, all these like people who make so much money and just telling people that are complaining online to like, you don't get a right to complain. First of all, I feel like it's America. Everyone can complain about whatever. You're a consumer. <laughs> you're allowed to complain. And just a really hot take. I was just like, that's kind of wild. And he basically was just like, you don't get to complain. It's your body that's ugly, not the clothes. And it's like, no, the clothes are horrible. Horrendous. Nice. Go to Tord, Gordon Lane Bryant, horrible. Yeah, it was such a weird take. And like my whole for you page this morning when I was like eating breakfast was all this, like stitching and a lot of big girls and just big people in general, just like, and me too. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love Leo and I do think his like tough love is like such a good approach, especially like losing weight and like motivated. Like, it helps a lot of people. But this was just like such a weird take to f- like big people just to be like, it's not the clothes, it's ugly, it's you. And I was like, that's such a weird. And also to say like, don't complain and also like, I don't know. He just doesn't – he obviously doesn't get it, right? Like, he's not shopping in these things. But, no, the clothes are hideous. I can't even, like, fathom that. I'm sorry. That's, like, ridiculous. Like – Crazy. It's just – it's just wild. It's so wild because it's literally just so hard. I mean, we're just talking, like, uh, Nicola Coughlin. Like, everything that she wears, like, she looks beautiful. And, like, Mm -hmm. yeah, is she, like, bigger? Yeah. But it's, like, perfectly, like, tailored Mm -hmm. for her. And that's, like, also to do that, like, that's really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, to get a designer thing and then make it tailored to a specific body type. Someone who's, like, she's short. I think she's um, she's 5'1". So she's 5'1". She's curvier. So to get that, uh, like, a designer outfit tailored to her to, like, look that good is so much time and money. Obviously, she has the resources so she can do it. But for, like, the normal person, that's, like, ridiculous. Like, to have to tailor everything that you buy like for your 
body type. Like, or get something custom. You don't want to, like Fanita said, she goes, you don't wear a leopard print blouse at the age of 21. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you want to wear something sexy. Like my Lux uh, dress was like $2,000. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. To get it like custom. And it's like so expensive to get that stuff. Yeah. And the other thing too, like he is tall. Like he is what? Like six four, six five. Huge, yeah. So yeah, he was bigger. But when you are bigger, it's just easier to lose weight. It just is. Of because course. like if I was like at my weight, if I was like six two, whatever, like I would be just like, I'd be stockier. Yeah. But it's like, I would not be like You'd fat. You'd be stretched you know what I mean? out. It's yeah. like Anna Nicole too. I think she was like 200 pounds and she was like stretched and beautiful. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. And that's like the tough love thing doesn't work for me. Like if someone was yelling at me and all this stuff, it doesn't, it makes me want to like rebel and like eat yeah. more to be honest. Like I don't respond like well to that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I also get that his thing is kind of like, you know, like very like reactionary and like it's very polarizing. That's kind of like his brand, but it's just harmful to shame like a whole uh, community, especially yeah. when I've already struggles enough with like self love right. and self acceptance. Th- that was the most like hurtful part is to be like, it's not the clothes that's ugly. It's like you're that's ugly because it's like people who already are fat like already feel that way. Like they already hate themselves. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like you don't have to like reiterate that to them. So it's also like different strokes for different folks. I mean, in general, there's like a lot of fat phobia and people don't like fat people and think they're ugly. But there's a lot of big people that look good and that they don't mind being fat. And it's that balance of like you know not hating yourself but also like you you want to change it's just like this thing it's like you have to like love yourself but also you can't hate yourself too much like it's just like this whole thing so to hear that it's just like a lot it was just like a weird take and it was right after Fernita and their friends I believe or they were friends I kind of was trying to catch up on that because so many people were just referring because that's how I saw Fanita's then and I went to hers and I was like okay so it kind of felt like this weird thing most people don't have sympathy for fat people. They just think like, just lose weight. It's not that hard. But like, it's so psychological. It's so like mentally draining every single day to be fat because it's just like, I want to lose weight, but you know, I'm, I'm happy. I love myself today. And then some days you're like, I hate myself. I shouldn't eat. There's just like so much like mental drainage and blockage uh-huh. that goes in. It's more than just like, yeah, if you can lose weight, if it's that easy, I would I'd be skinny. It's not easy. Yeah. Like there's such a, me- it's such a mental thing in your head that's totally. blocking that, it. Yeah. It's really annoying too. Especially like when I was younger growing up like fat too. It's like, I literally couldn't eat at a restaurant because I had like a fear that everyone was looking at me as a fat kid eating. Like, I couldn't eat in front of people because I was fat. You I know? feel like, that way now, yeah. It's, like, ridiculous to shame someone. Like I said, there's just so many factors that go into it. The struggle's real. Like, most fat people have, like, a self-hatred in there uh-huh. somehow. Because of society. It's not even because of them. It's just, like, other people, like, Leo. And, like, yeah. And it's, like, we already see so much, like, hot people representation. Yes. Like, literally open TikTok, and it's, like, 90% boring people who are just hot that have, like, all these careers and stuff. Like you as like a bigger person you have to work a million times yeah. harder because like when you're just like a hot you will get like a following you will have success oh, yeah. no matter what you have like the pretty privilege or whatever yeah like, the banging body and it's like i'm tired of opening tiktok and seeing like hot people all the time like just shut up and like let us have something, something. you know what i mean like yeah. just let us feel good for like a second that's why i used to be like i used to go on that bandwagon too with like people being like oh this promotes obesity like you know when like morbidly obese people right like 400 pounds are saying you know every size is beautiful and then you get these like straight guys being like this is promoting obesity and unhealthiness i almost like i I was like on that too i was like yeah you don't want to promote being unhealthy whatever but then i'm like i'd rather promote that because some people are just that size and they just they can't they can't do anything about it like they're that's the path they chose i get it i get bigger every day like it's one of those things and it's like i'd rather someone be showing representation for being happy at 400 pounds because they may be not able to control it or whatever then it's like not promoting obesity it's promoting like this is my body and try not to be depressed about it Uh, you know what i mean fat doesn't automatically equal unhealthy too like that's another thing which is annoying and Mm -hmm. the other thing too is like when you're bigger then you try to go to the gym and work out then there's a whole group of people who like secretly record you and shame Uh, the people who are like bigger trying to work out or there's like um bigger like people who are dancing on tiktok whatever like oh like why is this fat person dancing well they're trying to get healthy you know what i mean so it it is like such a lose lose Lose, for fat people all the time so like if you're just hot and like skinny just stay actually stay in your lane if you're like that like i don't need a six foot something (laughs) tall white blonde hot guy to tell me that like my body is a problem like you're good and you're like yeah i oh my god with leo that's why i was hurt because i was like god he really does and even in person like he does like have so much sympathy because i remember i I ate taco bell before he got here and i told him like i talk about because i don't want you to like judge me and he's like oh my god i eat taco bell all day like he's just he's like super like relatable and like gets it yeah so i was just like so sad and again i will love leo i'll stand him forever because i just like you know he was on my podcast i was like that's so nice but um that made me sad and i'm hoping like 
I don't know. He's kind of an unapologetic person, but at the same time, I'm like, fat people look up to you because you were once fat and then you got hot and those are inspirational people. So it's just like, you know. Don't alienate don't us. Don't alienate yeah. us. Like, we're trying to be on your side, including Yeah, we me. want to support. Yes. That was a wild take. There's like, that was wild. So shout out Fanita, though. She really had the right take because she and she was so right. She goes, so many people on fast, fa- fast fashion. She's like, but we don't have other options. Like, and I'm telling you, Fashion Nova Skims are like the only two companies that have the same standard size. So even Target, they have a plus size section that's hideous. Oh, yeah. You know, hideous. Like, so when I go to Target, I usually just get, I try and find the biggest size and like the juniors or whatever it is or women's because the plus size is absolutely atrocious. Uh-huh. So, and it's not the same at all. <laughs> it's yeah. not the cute clothes. So it does suck. And we got one more, Eugenia Cooney. Yes, we always have to save the downer story for last. Poor Eugenia. I really actually do feel really bad for her. Me like too. anyone that's like, I worry about JoJo, but I feel like she's going to be okay. Eugenia, it's like, is she okay? And why is no one helping her? Like, mm-hmm. her friends have tried to help her. Like, what's going on? Now, TikTok has banned people searching for her. Yeah. yeah. So, TikTok is blocking users from searching for her. Like, you can only find her via, like, if you click on a hashtag, then, like, some of her stuff will pop up. But if you search her name... Um, nothing will come up and you'll get like uh, a message directing to the National Alliance for Eating Disorders. Wow. Yeah. So, but how, how can they do that? Isn't that like kind of diagnosing her? I <sighs> guess. I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. And how? It's kind of, I mean, right. It has, it's kind of just apparent. What if she's in, like, recovery, though, right? Where isn't people saying she was, like, gaining some weight? You know, maybe that's, like, not her thinnest or something. I don't know. I don't know. It seems weird. It seems like she could sue them. If it, well, I guess if they're just saying, hey, I think some of our videos even will say, like, if you need help, like, there's, yeah, like, like, a the depression. Yeah, the gray one. Oh, right, right. So maybe they're just putting out in general. Well, I think I think it picks up because she said, like Lauren said, like when I had my eating disorder. So I think it picks up when that she said that, like in the transcript, and then. Do you think Eugene has ever said that? Like I don't have an eating disorder I don't or something. Think so. I don't think she's on. I think on Twitch she has because I remember she used to get like a lot of like people who would pay to send the message. So it, like you know you get the big pop up. And she's always denied it. Yeah. She always said no. I don't have one. I think so. I think so. Well, remember there was that one time where she did like go off the internet a little bit and she said she was getting help. Do you remember that era? Yeah. Like didn't Shane do a whole docuseries about her? Uh, what did he, did he ever like dive into anything or no? No. I remember watching it, but it was just that one video and like he talked to her mom, I think, but it seemed like everything was good. And then remember there was that TMZ article where they talked to one of the police officers in her town because people were calling in to do like a right. wellness check and- he said that nothing was wrong with her. It's who said? Odd. Who said nothing was the wrong? The detective. He said, "We're well, not detective. I, someone he worked for like the police basically because he they were getting all these nine one one calls in our town of people like wanting to do a wellness check on her like viewers because they were like worried for her. And this police officer, detective, whatever I forget his title, but he was like, you know, me and Eugenia have a thing where like." she puts this little thing up in the background of her videos if she ever needs me or whatever. And then that's how he'll know that he has to, like, intervene. Yeah, but, like, sick people don't really know they're yeah. sick, you know? And I – so why are they – did TikTok ever say why they're banning the searches? No, people just started noticing. And what they, would come up? You, you can't search her name. Like, literally, like, none of her content comes up if you search her if name. You, if you search it right now, nothing comes up. Yeah, and then you would get the message for for the eating disorders. The National Alliance for Eating Disorders. I think disorders. that's good. So they must not be able to, like, ban her. I guess. Well, remember, she was banned be for, like, able- 24 hours that one time. But that, I think that was, like, a weird – you know, they randomly ban people and then they get reinstated. Like, um, Terry you- Joe always says that. Too, right, but, yeah. right. Do you think it's, like, because people are, like, looking to her for, like, thin spell or – I think so. I think there's definitely, like – uh, like, a community of people who probably do that. Because even, like, on YouTube, like – there's like code words to search for if you want content to help enable your ed like uh there's back in my like when i was in high school i remember like my friend showed me this it was like mia i forget what the anorexia one was but like bulimia was like mia it was like mia tips you would search up and it'd be girls giving you tips on how to purge basically oh my god yeah that's so so there is like people seeking that like content you know to like kind of reaffirm their ed what's body checking i don't know how i would define it is that when because people would always say like 
when Colleen was next to me, she'd be like body checking like next to me or something like that. It's like comparing your body to someone else that's bigger than you. Mm. The compulsive behavior related but not exclusive to various forms of body dysmorphic disorders uh, frequently involves collecting various information about one's own body in terms of size, shape, appearance, or weight. So you're like looking in the mirror to see how like yeah reflecting at the camera and then if you're like say someone you're with someone bigger it's like using them to kind of like affirm your own ever since i heard this because like i started hearing this first with the cooling thing that we're sharing but now i always feel like i feel like this is like a thing people do they like to be sitting like next to someone like bigger so they like look so small that very well could be a thing. and now that's all i think yeah. about but maybe that's just me that's my that's me being rebel wilson over here but like i do think that i'm always like oh my god do people i'm a I'm probably a good one to body check, though, because I am pretty Come huge. <laughs> I, I make I anyone know. look small, to be honest. It's, like, really tiny, but yeah. I'm not trying to be incentive. I'm really not. Okay, but, like, okay. I know you're who, trying to wrap. This is you trying to wrap your head around it. I right, see right, it. okay. Yeah. So, like, really tiny people, right? Are they triggered by me or are they, like, inspired by me to keep being skinny? I think there's two kind of ways. There's, like, the Leo Skeppy way where <laughs> now it's, like, oh, my. You're so hideous. Yeah. And then there's, like, the. But then that would probably inspire them. Like, oh, my God, you're so fat. I don't want to be like this. And then also. The other part is like, oh, I look so skinny next to you, so I should stay skinny. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry to anyone who's like struggling with being skinny. Yeah. Or not wanting to be fat. That's true. We did spend the first like hour being like, it's so hard being fat, but it also is hard to be, hard like, to be super skinny. skinny. Yeah. But people want to be, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like Eugenia Queen wants to be that. She likes people saying how tiny she is. Yeah. Hence why she's showing up. Because isn't it? The other thing I, th- I always think too, like Mary Kane Ashley, like people who are losing a lot of weight, sometimes they wear baggy stuff because they don't want to like show, show not, the issue. Yeah, and she seems like she's kind of embracing it and highlighting how thin she is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's again where TikTok is kind of stepping in too, because there is that element of like, you know, like peacocking almost of like the skinniness, I guess. You know, because it's not just like here I am like creating content like all the content kind of revolves around her being super thin right like it's all very let's like how skinny a little crop top and then to the side you know like, right like show. constantly just showing the the thigh the gap and everything the and, full yeah do you know what her content is on live like what she talks about she, I know that she used to do Twitch and she used to do like gaming stuff she used to do beauty stuff on TikTok I'm pretty sure she does like she does cosplay stuff Okay. Um, like a lot of like outfits. I remember she did like the Beyonce cosplay and dance, you know. I didn't see that one. So she's like in a black leotard or something? Yeah, she did like the single ladies. I think that's the last time we so talked about her. So she's not talking her about her weight. It's interesting. The, the ban is interesting because if she's not talking about her weight and she is just sick, do you ban someone for being sick? <laughs> like un- you're unsearchable because you're sick and you know what I mean? It's not like she's yeah. promoting it. I guess she is. But she, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. It is tough. And... Yeah, I mean, her views have definitely gone down a lot since. Like, mm. she used to get, like, at least, like, the lowest was, like, around 500K. And then now her last one only has, like, 4,000 views. <gasps> oh, they're, like, really she shadow has, banning. She like, 37,000 before that. So, like, mm. her whole, like, first row is all, all under 100K. So. It is scary. I mean, it's scary. It's sad. I think it's, like, really dangerous to put out there. Um, I mean, some people could argue, okay, six thousand, a thousand pound life is just as scary and dangerous, but they don't glorify that. Like, fat's never glorified. I feel like, yeah, this is a little more glorified. It's not, like you said, like desirable. Like, I feel like people, it's very. I mean, gaining is like a whole thing. There is a community for gaining, but yeah. I feel like for the most part, it's like when it comes to like EDs, especially, it's like people want uh, affirmation to be skinny. Like, oh, like, I don't want to eat. Like, let me see someone skinny. You know, you know what I mean? Like, That's what I wonder. I wonder if it's more motivating to watch someone like Eugenia or someone to watch, like, someone like me and be like, what's more motivating for them to be skinny? That's true. I don't know. I So should I be banned? You know what I mean? Like, because I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, am I promoting – are people so disgusted? Like, it's kind of why fast food doesn't like fat people to advertise for them. But shout out Wendy's for sending PR. But it's like, I think in general, they don't want people to be like, oh, I'm going to look like that if I eat Wendy's. I, I don't know. I think, but people see you enjoying food and it always makes you want it. Like every time you post, I'm like, oh, that looks so good. And you I know. don't look like, okay. Right. But then like, I don't want to have that double chin, you know what I mean? Like I have or something. No. Okay. No. I, I don't, like, don't want to trigger anyone. This is my point of all this. I feel like I, it's a weird discussion, but I'm like, I don't want to trigger. I, I don't want to be banned because I'm like, what if I'm no, but like also, people's thin spo because they're like, well, I want to. I don't want to look like that because people say that on my mukbangs. They'll be like, "Thank you for making me not want to eat today." That's terrible. I think it's the haters, but I always yeah. see that a lot on Twitter. 
There's literally a hashtag right now. Literally, I never look really, and I don't really see bad comments, but there's like a hashtag now, and it's like, I get these, like they spam me for a while. It's like, Trisha Fat. It was like me, the chicken one, the chicken I posted. I just posted the chicken thing on Twitter, and all this like spam comments, like, Trisha Fat, Trisha can't stop eating. And I was like, wait, oh my what? God. Yeah, so I was like, I, I think it's like the same account. It's like, it's always like a picture of me looking ugly in the profile pic. So I think they just create oh like all these accounts, but, and yeah. I never see it. It doesn't happen much, but I was like, damn, okay. No, I, I think, just chicken and rice. It wasn't that crazy, damn. I know. And mac and cheese and French fries. I would love to do um a video with Eugenia, whether it's a podcast or like just like even like a mukbang or something. Like, you know what I mean? Not even a mukbang, just like a sitting in the car eating video. You know what I mean? Does, has she ever eaten on camera? That's I actually what I'm saying. genuinely don't know. I don't think it needs to be like proven, but I think it's like it would comfort people. You know what I mean? Like when I eat salad, some people are like, yay, Trisha being healthy. You know what I mean? Like I think I it's comforting. Yeah, because I mean, I don't really watch or any of the content, but some people with EDs for real, and I mean, it's so sincere. Like they'll be like, oh, like you've helped me. Like I eat with you or something. I can eat like a bite with you. You know what I mean? No, I so, see that stuff way more, to be honest. So. The offer's out there, Eugenia. And it's not to prove anyone anything, but if you just, like, you know, want to eat with me. Yeah, every time we talk about her, I never know, period, I guess, just because I, I don't yeah. keep up with her. The content is, like, hard to watch, just as, like, when you already struggle with your weight, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's hard to watch. It's hard to consume that kind of content. And just, like, seeing someone, like, be obviously kind of, like, unwell, you know? But also, mm-hmm. I don't know very, like, much about her, but... Also, I feel like she's sweet in general. In general, you yeah, know what I mean. I don't people think say she's, she's nice. Yeah, like I don't think she's, she's not, not mean. Like, yeah, so it makes it even harder to like be super critical because I don't know if it's just like a psychological thing. You know, it's like can you really right? It's a ED is like a form of mental illness. So can you like really totally? That's what I'm saying. Bully can, someone for being like mentally yeah. Like Ill? can you ban someone because they're sick? I think like with some mental illnesses, say like if you're like. Uh, spouting a lot of like, uh, like hurtful like rhetoric or something like a like totally. a Kanye like when he got banned from Twitter for oh that for time. sure you know I mean? yeah hate speech and he obviously had like some mental illness you know so I think yeah stuff but like that. I don't think she's doing that yeah but I mean she can still create and like her stuff is just harder to find I don't <sighs> know I wish TikTok released like a statement or something because they do it but like I'm not like I guess they don't have to explain it yeah Johnny Gilbert used to be friends with her maybe. Oh, yeah. She was with a lot of people. Social Repo, mm-hmm. Onision, Jacqueline Glenn. Hmm. Shane, let's get a docuseries going. Oh, a real one. Oh. You should do like a hard-hitting one. I would love to be on the podcast, Eugenia. Is she in California, I think? i like to talk to her. Is she in California? I think I could handle it sensitively because I do feel for her. I would just like to know. Like, She probably would never admit to having an easy story, but just like what are her thoughts on being banned? What are her thoughts on people talking about her body? Because she hasn't talked about it. Like co- People comment on her body. No, I don't think she's ever done it, like, directly. Like, she's never sat down and been, like, addressed it directly. But she'll talk about, like, people saying, like, mean comments or whatever, you know? When I feel like, yeah, I'm sure there are mean ones. But I think a lot of them are also, like, well-intentioned as far as, like, mm-hmm. people being concerned. Concerned, like, yeah. Wanting her to do well, you know? Mm. It's always so tough to talk about her. I know. I really hope none of it came across in this. I just try to understand it. I, like, can't grasp it. You know what I mean? But... Um, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people do. And I think a lot of people do grasp it and that's why they're concerned. They're like, I actually know where You're this so is coming right. from. You know, yeah. like I can't fathom that, but like other people kind of like this is this, this and this and they recognize it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's hard for us to like fathom that because yeah. we're – our, all, all our like problems with food are like are literally on such the opposite, opposite spectrum, scale. so it's hard to like. In my head, I'm like you can never be too skinny. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, you know, then there's those with the Eugenia. And I was, oh, okay. Like, uh-huh. Yeah. There might be an issue here. Yeah. All right, Eugenia. Well, <laughs> wish her well. Genuinely, though, like, yeah, I, oh. all the influencers. Like, I just hope she's just okay. And yeah, and EDs are awful, especially when you have extreme ones. And like you said, we're like on the opposite spectrum. And I feel like I think it was Rebel Wilson who said she'd rather be overnourished than undernourished. And I and was she like, she spilled. She yeah, did spill. she spilled. Re- read the Rebel Rising book. It's inspirational for everyone, but especially <laughs> fat people. It's very inspirational. 